and you decide to rage the champion, not the queen and healers? You gotta be joking me. How do you not rage your queen and healers there? Get it, 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 get it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next OP matchup today. We got BD Clashers versus Milesime MG, which is the MS Esports after they got their new name. They got a lot of world championship tier players on this team. You can see Abu Alin, Kingsman, Tryhard, Arium, Antonio currently playing as their fifth. Let's see how they do today in the Cosmo League. We got the Grim Reaper of BD Clashers going in first with a little zap action for an Inferno Tower and an Expo. Warden Walk on the right side of the base. Balloon sneaking in for the mortar. They almost take it out. Here we go. King and Witches, Sneaky Goblins on the bottom side. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. Everybody going to go in toward the Eagle Artillery, then wrap around the left side where we're going to have some jumping action. I bet. A lot of E Titans here. Is that enough of a funnel? I don't know if it is. A little worried about that. Where are these wall breakers going? Ooh. I actually really don't like that. Queen Warden going to the right. Yeah, this oh. This is looking messy for the Grim Reaper, bro. This is looking really messy. Ice Golem freezes. King gonna go inside with ability. Oh jeez. His warden's dead, his queen's dying, his king's going through ability, Phoenix bringing him back to life. Oh gosh. I don't know if he can even save the two. Which is to a battle blimp, since the champion from the top side. Those two rages. Okay. Oh. Blimp with no best balloons. Wow, it makes it kind of lucky. Rage freeze, Yeti bomb. Secure that town hall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Down goes the town hall with the E Titan and the Yeti. Last rage for the champion, but she gets wrecked. My goodness gracious. What a rough start to this match. Couple troops on the top side for a few extra buildings, but. Always gonna get 63 against the army camp. Yikers! Nice try. Kingsman with the first attack for MG, and he's got Zappy Titans as well. Just like the last guy. Yeah. See if he can do it a little bit better. First with the Ice Golem, Warden, Giant Wizard. Here. Flame Flinger's in there as well. Okay. Barbarian just testing for traps. Warden gets locked onto by the expo. It's all part of the plan. You can drop a couple of healers on the warden. Boom, there go the healers. Very nice. You gonna wake up the town hall with the quake. He needs to. There it is. Lightning's for the monolith. Okay. Sure. Barbarian King deployed. Warden hits the Town Hall a couple times. That's actually not good because that means the Flame Flinger has less splash damage on the Expo. Because the Town Hall drops here, the Flame Flinger is going to end up dying to the Expo. Oh well. E Titans in on the bottom side. Baby Dragon to help funnel a little bit. Jumping spell deployed. Cool. King passed perfectly, or does he? Yes, he does. Queen going with the King. Awkward. Got the warden ability. Holding it. It's patient. No patient. Even with the balloon. Oh, no, that's his balloon. I'm so blind. Still holding on to the warden ability. Wow. Wallbreaker over here to help King Queen go in toward the Eagle Artillery. That's looking nice. The healers are keeping the E Titans alive. Now he pops the warden ability so the Queen won't be able to kill any. Okay. That's cool. Queen takes the Eagle Champions in on the left. Here we go. We've got one free spell left, and that's it. That is it. E Titans are getting hammered by these double damage defenses, man. The Warden goes down. Well, Champion's gonna get out in front of the Queen. The Rage Tower effect does expire. Some of these E Titans. Ooh, never mind. They're all dead. 
They are all dead. Queen gonna walk left. She still has the healers. Scattershot locks on the healers. Awkward. Diggy is dead. Use the freeze early to save healers. The healers are switching to the Royal Champion. I mean, just walk outside. Oh my gosh, she's gonna spend so much time beating on a wall. Healers on the champion trying to help as much as they can, but she's still gonna go down. E Titan Smash, not gonna work on this one. I feel like E Titan Smash in general is just so iffy. So iffy these days. Like, it can be good, but it also just fails for no reason sometimes. Like, he did nothing wrong. You know? Rip the homie Kingsman. I think it just ends up being a time fill, unless that multi can kill all the healers, which it actually might. But he's going to run out of time no matter what. It's one, two more buildings here. And it's an 87. Optimus Prime with the next attack for BD Clashers. What's he got? Some Queen Charge Twin Hog action. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's going to be able to do Early rage on the Queen as she's about to fight the King. Nice, he already deploys his king from the bottom side of the base. Cool. Green path are a little wonky here. Wall breaker not really helping. Rage tower going off. Expo's doing double damage. He's dropping more balloons. King's getting wrecked as well. This queen might not step how he wants. I don't think she will. Unless he wanted her to go left. Is that what he wanted? Did Phoenix at least get the expo? Nice invis. Force her to the town hall, but she's still gonna get hammered. Oh my gosh. Freeze on the monolith. What in the skeleton spell? That didn't even work at all. <laughs> what the cap? Queen goes into the Giga Poison. We spam all the hogs from the left side of the base. Free spell. Poison. Rage. We're trying. Battle drill is in. Warden ability early. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, it's messy though. Rocket balloon going for his hogs. Champion needs to take that out. Good freeze right there. Queen pops the hound. It's the champion, but all the hog riders are already dead. Uh. Got a couple super riders still alive on the outside. Champion's dead. Battle drill's still alive. What? What's in it? He's out of spells. The big rip. Down goes the Warden Queen. Gonna be able to get a few more things on the outside of the base here. But that fell apart so fast. Yikers. Being unfortunate for Optimus Prime. That was a cool name, though. Queen fights Queen. Headhunter, you tried to time it well. It was a little late. Queen might end up dying in Scattershot. Yep. Big rip. Big rip. Nice try, Mr. Prime. But the Decepticons win this time. Archer might get a pet house. Maybe not. 72%. NT, NT. My heart is in with some super dragon. Okay. Queen healers. Two lightning spells and a recall. Lightning spells do take out that left sweeper. I was queen in a path here. In for the gold storage. Anywhere. Just recalls. Was he expecting her to go directly in? Or not? Nah, he doesn't care. Drop her on the left, get the other corner, and then dragons right there anyway. I think. Sure. For sure. Why not? You don't lose a healer? Ooh, he does lose one healer. Awkward queen pathing. Not the end of the world. Super Dragons toward the Eagle Artillery. He's got a battle blimp for the Town Hall. He's gonna pop Warden ability right away though. Rage the Dragons, finds the Tornado Trap there. Queen gonna keep walking on the outside. Good, try to push her into the Town Hall, but nope. He doesn't care. He wants a battle blimp it. Here we go. X-Rage is in. Freeze on the Town Hall and the Expo. 
Rage over the town hall and town hall secure. Freeze over here. Being deployed on that side. Can Warden take out that scatter shot? He should. Yes, he does. That's clutch. We're gonna go fight the Monolith now. Probably gonna see the Royal Champion behind the King. I had to guess. Queen pops ability for that Monolith. Takes the Mortar. Fighting the King. We send a Headhunter to help support. Royal Champion is indeed in. The Warden goes down. Phoenix activates though. Got a decent chance here. He still has a freeze. He still has a poison spell. If there's any skeleton traps over here on the right side of the base, it's looking good for Mr. Tryhard. Mr. Tryhard coming in with the Queen Walk, Recall, two lightning spell, Super Dragon Smash. Nice. There's a freeze spell. And he's got it. Plenty of time on the clock. Queen's still alive. King's still alive with the Frosty. Royal Champion and Diggy. Still alive. Swag poison spell all over that cannon right there. In 30 seconds to get the last couple of buildings. Nice try, Mr. Tryhard. It's going to be a three star. GG's. MG takes the lead. Night Soul is in. Next attack for BD Clashers. This is a nice war scenery, bro. I love this map. Warden Walk on the right side of the base. Lightning spells for an expo and an Inferno Tower. Another E Titan smash attack. Okay. Players today love their E Titans. Some balloons on the left don't actually get the cannon. Rip. He sends a couple more. And he still doesn't get the cannon. Oh, he should have just used a Yeti, bro. Only got one balloon left. Probably needs to use it as a Cocoa Balloon. He does have a Yeti, but he wants to use it right there. Alright. What? Just swagged his last balloon. I think zero cents. Queen, Ice Golem, E Titans making their way in from this angle here. What in the world is Homie doing? Oh gosh. Ops King ability. There's a baby warden with the main group. For minions out of the siege barracks. This is looking so messy. Warden ability. Warden ability. So patient. There's the warden ability. It's the town hall. And for minions did take out the archer queen. He was getting targeted by that other scatter shot. He sends his champion from the bottom side of the base. Okay. Here we go. All the Z-Titans are dead. Queen gets locked onto by the Monolith. He free freezes way too late. Queen dies through ability. Oh, no. This poor guy. What the... Champion has two pets. Kind of crack. Got a couple cleanup troops. Pops the champion ability, she'll get one more archer tower. It's gonna be another low percent attack for BD Clashers, man. They are struggling against these MG bases. Down goes the champion, and he's gonna end up with like a 65 or 66. 67, maybe. 68. 69. Well, this is gonna be a four star attack, dude. Watch. If he can get both these barracks. Oh, he might not. He might not. Rip. The time fail on the four star hit. Nice try. Oh, the O with the next hit for MG. More E Titans, bro. I have to title this match War of the E Titans. The only three star in this match has been like the only non E Titan attack. Hello, <laughs> well. Dap Quake. Yeti. Warden Funnel. Sure. Flame of Flinger. Okay. He drops it in such a bad spot though. It's going to have to have so much extra travel time just to get to the town hall. If you drop it there, he doesn't have to spend 10 seconds moving his wheels and losing HP. That's just me being nitpicky though. Shouldn't matter too much. Ice Golem. Archer Queen. E-Girls. Here we go. Barb King to Funnel. 
Just a little delayed. Wallbreaker, dude? That wallbreaker was years too late. All of your e-girls are walking. Oh my gosh, dude. These attacks are so sloppy today. Flame Flinger moving toward the town hall. CC troops coming out. We're going to rage in an awkward spot. We're going to pop Warden ability. Queen had to pop ability there. She's almost dead. Oh my gosh. This is getting really messy, actually. Queen going to end up dying to a multi. That's kind of embarrassing. Rip. Nobody gets the eagle. There's the jump spell. Super delayed. King gets bamboozled. Monolith gonna start just wrecking everything. Oh jeez, he's not even getting the town hall, is he? Uh, good. He's gonna send the champion. He's waiting for the rage to wear out, wear off. Ah, <sighs> sloppy attacks today, man. It's a rage. This is a freeze. GG. Two star secured. Might get the exact the perfect 69. Actually gonna get like 70. Rip. 71. Nice try, Mr. Tonio, but it's not a three star. Not a three star at all. Godzilla is in. The flame flinger. Oh. Got a super bowler smash attack. Queen, healers, baby dragons, warden walk. Interesting. Got a recall. Queen to fight queen. The rage. Warden only has one healer. He's okay for now. Queen meant to go get this shadow shot. Warden gonna follow the king now. What the heck? Bro? Bro? <laughs> Why? Why would you drop the king before the bowlers to pull the warden? Oh my gosh. This is tough to watch today, dude. Dumb spell. Rage spell. Warden actually dies there. Oh my god. This is so sad. Queen picks up the lower multi. Picks up the super minions. Warden's dead as heck. Witch has got through the expo at least. It's it, This has turned into a queen charge. And he sends the champion early there. Oh. Super minions on the right. And you decide to rage the champion, not the queen and healers? You gotta be joking me. How do you not rage your queen and healers there? Get it, 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 get Silence is loud. Amualin is in with only two healers. Ooh, a lot of lightning spells and more super dragons. It's similar to what worked for them the first time. Let's see if they can get it done again. No recall spell this time around. Wake, lightning spells. Down goes the eagle. Two bomb towers, a monolith, and two builder huts. Queen with only two healers on the top side of the base. With the unicorn, of course. I like it. The Flame Flinger is going to get targeted by that Expo pretty early on, though. I guess he just wants it to make a small funnel, not a big funnel. I think... Uh, is that the way he wanted Queen to go? I'm not even sure. I think it is. Free spell. Sure. Might still need a Rage there. He only has one Rage. He's not going to Rage her. Ops her ability. That's so awkward. 
Flame Flinger is going to get targeted here. Wingo's inside anyway. Feels kind of sloppy. Super Dragon out of the Flame Flinger. CC troops come out. Got no poison. He wasn't expecting Queen to walk like that, I don't think. I think she was supposed to stay on the outside, dude. I'm not even sure anymore. Ops of War and Ability. Rages. The two dragons on the left were the Town Hall with a freeze. Okay, Town Hall should be secured. Barbarian King on the right side. As the Queen goes down, the two healers are going to swap. Town Hall drops. Whew. Invis spell for the super drags. Sure. I don't know. He has a chance. Just feels a little sloppy, but some of these dragons are still alive. King has ability. This dragon on the left going for the Barbarian King, trying to take him out. Tries to send the champion to the air defense to save the bee or to save the dragon. The dragon dies anyway. He does have a headhunter. Warden going for this expo. That'll help the champion a lot. Down goes the expo. Diggy's still there to stun. He might get this. King on the right side takes the air defense. RC ability pops off. Takes out so many defenses. All he really has to worry about is the scatter shot. Abu Alim. These super dragon plans are working, bro. The E Titan plans are not working. You guys gotta stop doing E Titan. But the Super Dragon plans, they're clan clashing. Look at this. Down goes the scatter shot, the skelly trap, the last couple of buildings. It is another three star and MG have a massive lead. Now, the Sippertron. Cool name. They're starting to bust out the Super Dragons. alone with their last attack though. Too little, too late. Rocket balloons, battle blimp, super minion bomb, own spell deployed. Rage. Invisibility. Down hall gets wrecked. They get the bomb tower, they get the expo. Can they get the CC building too? That would be kind of clutch. Nice to use that last invis late, but it works. He gets the CC building. Alright, Coolio. And then spam the drags from the left. Here we go. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Barbarian King deployed from the top side there. Okay. Where do we drop the queen? Freeze on the mono leaf. Rage. Warden ability. Archer Queen at 12 o'clock, sure. Down goes the monolith. I'm gonna go fight this archer queen on defense now. Up a skeleton spell to try and help out. Throw champions in at 12 o'clock. He's losing to super drags though. Freeze in the court. Eh. Ooh, good invis. No RC went in the invis. The defensive RC. Rip. Oh, King will take her out. That actually worked out just fine. Super drags are almost all dead. Just one left. The warden goes down. Ooh, still a lot of base left. Rage tower making the expo. The scatter shot. The multi do double damage. Looking a little scary. Camping in a pop ability here. Boom. She barely gets her ability off before dying. Queen getting hammered by a double damage expo. This is a fail. This is a fail. Ripperoni. Queen takes the multi. Now she's going to try to fight the king. Not even. She's dead, dude. She dead. Phoenix can grab another building. Minion gets one as well. Or, nope, he goes down again. 78%. This team just not able to get any three stars today. Nice try, man. Ariel with the final attack of the match. Let's see if they can end with 13 stars. Yep. He's got the Super Barbarians. Finally, we get to see the broken attack in the game. Only player to use it in today's matchup. One Tesla still there. Rocket balloons, battle bloom, tornado trap. It's over the wall though. Cool. Invis the super archers, clone the super archers, rage the super archers. They take the eagle, they take the monolith, they get some of these expos, they're gonna start working on the inferno towers. He definitely wants at least both multis. I don't think he'll be able to reach the single. Doesn't get the left multi. 
He gets the single. That's clutch. But he has to worry about that multi being up. He might just completely ignore it and save it for the very end. I think that's exactly what he's going to do. King, Queen, E, Titan, Warden. Still alive and kicking here. Able to assist on ground mode. Julio. Headhunter to fight the Royal Champion. Super Barbs to start funneling. Here we go. The rest of the attack is just a big hero dive with the Super Barbs. As needed to help assist. Barbarian King already on 1 HP. Going to go to ability. It's awkward. Look at this. Normal wall breakers toward the Builder Hut. That's a good spot. Off the Warden ability. The wall breakers did not get through the wall. Got two more delayed. They do get it now. Okay. Headhunters. Ice Golem on the outside. Queen will get the Town Hall, but she's going to walk through the Giga Poison. It might be too much damage for her to handle. Royal Champion deployed from the bottom side. Going to have to go fight the Queen. We got a couple more Super Barbs to deploy. We got a Headhunter to throw in there. And he drops it. Headhunter's going to get the good value there. Queen did take the Town Hall. Can Royal Champion clean up the rest? Warden's still doing some damage here. Champion has the Diggy. He's got that one free spell still on standby. Diggy going to stun the scatter, but then uh, he might have dropped that freeze a couple seconds too early. Stun effect was still there. But RC ability takes the scatter shot out. He's got it. Unicorn switches over to the warden. 35 seconds. RC deal with the skelly trap. She's got to go through the wizard tower. She's got to go through the cannon. Diggy is here to stun on one HP. Diggy the hero. Diggy the hero. Down goes the cannon. It's all about time. 23 seconds and the royal champion might be the fastest cleanup troop in the game. Warden's there to help assist a little bit as well. 16 seconds as we head back over for the CC building and Arium. Able to end this match in style. Just enough time. Five seconds left over. It's a three star and MG win this match. 13 to nine. 91.6 to 71.